Hello guys and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to get your remote control BRE1 from Canon connected to your Canon camera DSLR. First you want to make sure that your camera has a Bluetooth capability and it's actually meant to work with this kind of remote because this is a wireless remote using the Bluetooth technology. Yeah, let's go ahead and get started. First you want to go ahead and turn on your camera, put it in the on position. And if you're new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. This will help me a lot to grow my channel and bring you more helpful videos. Also, please click that like button as well. Okay, so let's go get started. Once you turn on your camera, you gotta go press the menu button here and then go to wireless settings and then you just click OK. And then where it says Wi-Fi Bluetooth connection, go ahead and click on that. And here you just gotta choose this remote with Bluetooth. So click on that. And then when it says connect to wireless remote, just click it again. And then you just got to press add the device to connect to. Now it's in the pairing mode, so you can go ahead and grab your remote. And you just got to press this W and T button for three seconds simultaneously. There you go. You see it starts to flash. Right now your camera recognizes it, so it's connected to your camera. It says it's paired with it. You got to press OK. And there you go. This is it. This is very simple. So your camera is connected and let's go ahead and try it out and see how it's working. Okay. And when you got your remote control connected to your camera via Bluetooth, all you have to do now, you have to select the actual Bluetooth remote for the shooting mode. And to do that, you got to press this icon here on the shooting mode. And where it says single shooting, continuous shooting, you got to choose this icon with the remote control on it. Now it's going to be set with the remote control, then you just click back. And now when it's all set up and you got it all connected to your remote control, let's go ahead and try it out. So you just press this button here. There we go. Quick shooting. So you just got to press this button here and there we go. Focused and take a picture. If you want to go ahead and shoot in the video mode, you just got to turn this selector on to the video mode. And now you have to also go to the menu here and to the shooting mode, press OK. And then go to this second setting right here and where it says remote control, you just got to press on it. And where it says enable, just got to choose enable. Now we got this remote control enable. So we're going to go ahead and exit the menu. And once you get this camera in the live view mode, you just got to press this button here. And there we go. Recording starts. I didn't press anything on the camera. Click on it, recording stops. Press on it, recording starts. Press again, it stops. The battery on this remote is supposed to last up to a year, so you're not gonna have to change it very often, especially if you're not using it all the time. So, and then there's a little screw you gotta take out before you can get to the battery and it's probably just a small like a pill size battery. Um, the range of this remote is about 5 meters or 16 feet. As far as build quality, it's really solid. Like it's very light, it's about 14 grams. So it feels really super light and you're probably not even gonna notice on your keychain. It would be a little bit big on the keychain, but it's definitely not heavy. So in this remote, you get the main button. That's your main shutter button. When you wanna just start filming or you wanna take a still picture. There's also an autofocus button and there's two buttons if you want to zoom it up. Also on the side of this remote there is another slider here with three different positions. So the first position you can use for the photo to take a still picture. Second position you can use for the photo as well and it's going to give you a two second delay. And the third position in this slider is going to be for your video. But I found that with video you can use it actually on any position and another thing that I would like to mention as well if you're not using this uh, remote control and if you're not planning to use it for a while I would go to the menu and go to the wireless settings and then disable it so that it doesn't run the battery because when you have all these features enabled they drain the battery quicker and if you're not really using them well you might as well just turn them off so you can have more battery life and when you need to use the remote, you just go ahead and you can just go to the settings back and turn it on and then you can just use it as normal. So if you find this video helpful guys, don't forget to click the like button. Also subscribe to the channel for more interesting videos 
and smash the notification bell so you don't miss new videos. If you have any comments or questions, please don't hesitate to leave them in the comment section below and I'll be happy to answer your questions or just read your comments. Thank you very much guys for watching and I hope you have a nice day and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.